look at this. I've been waiting. I shared this on my Instagram a while back. I've been waiting to find the perfect backpack purse. Isn't this, isn't she bad? Isn't this cute? I just like the little, um, just the details, how you see the gold here. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So I know y'all here. Let me, let me turn around this way here so you can really see it because it's dark back here. Hold on y'all. Isn't that pretty? This is so pretty. So I was looking for a backpack purse for when JB and I have our little outings so that my hands are free so I can snatch him up real quick. <laughs> but I'm going to carry this into work. I'm going to go to work next Monday and I think it, this is what I'm wearing, you guys. I'm going to be so bright, but I really don't care. And that really doesn't match, but I don't care. I, I, it's springtime. Okay, it's springtime. Um, Charmin Charlie had a sale. Buy one, get two free. So I got this because I don't have a... Well, okay, we ain't going to talk about it. But I, I don't think... I didn't think I had a purse this color. So, y'all, yeah, I have so many purses. So my purses are all up here, which I need to organize. Then I have some over here. And then I have some under these pillows. But I purchased this one. And I'll show you my black one that I'm carrying right now. Just a simple black tote. And this is the black one. Isn't she bad? Let, 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 let's, let's get her in the sunlight. Isn't this pretty, y'all? And it's large. And in charge. So over here, I have some stuff I bought. I have a gray desk and I have a wood stool. I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna have an official video of this, but I am creating myself a woman cave. Girl, a she room. Not a she shed, but a she room. Cause I I, I need to have somewhere where I can escape and lock my guest door. bedroom, you guys. And this bedroom before oh, it's bright as hell. <laughs> before uh, I had JB, this room was my escape, my oasis. Um, it was, of course, it's our guest bedroom. And at first, I had it decorative as a guest bedroom. I was like, you know, this is gonna be my, um, it's, it's gonna be my room. So back here in this closet, I had it situated to where all my makeup was here. Now I have all this Christmas stuff and decor decoration in the closet. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna show you, yes, girl. <laughs> and again, I have gonna, I'm gonna have a separate video on, um, what am I trying to say, y'all? A separate video on my bathroom remodeling and the she room. <laughs> Hey, you guys, so, excuse the background, my husband is working out. I'm finally eating breakfast. I'm eating breakfast kind of late. It's almost 10. I decided today to do an impromptu visit at my child's lunch, to have lunch with him. I try to have lunch with him once a quarter. Um, I, girl, at first I was like, I'm gonna have lunch with my child every month. Girl, I want you guys to check out a fellow YouTuber. Jim Tren, Jim Tren, sis, what is, I just say Jim Tren. I'm gonna link her channel below. Um, she's um, started off as natural hair, but now she's getting to other topics, which I, I love the direction her channel is going. She had a video on how she learned Spanish in one year, how to travel solo, and I, I like that, y'all. You know, we're more than just our hair, which is why I do several, talk about several things on my channel. But I've come to a realization that I don't think I'm going to put any more energy in other type of videos. Because at first I was like, well, let me restart my series on Purpose Dream and Journey. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to waste any energy. I'm not going to waste any. I know Chef Squeezer. I know I'm getting your name wrong. I'm not going to do any more energy on cooking videos. If you want to see, if you guys want to see cooking related 
videos they will be meshed with my i'm sorry y'all i'm looking at my arm like i don't know if this is eczema or chicken pox girl um what's my point i had all these ideas last year of things that i wanted to do in series i wanted to start it but still my most popular videos are hair related videos um, even when I do chit chat videos, I, it's, I'm doing my hair. I mean, those videos get more views than my vlogs. So vlogging will definitely, definitely, because I, I, I gotta talk to someone. My husband gets tired of my ass. Let me get back to the um, planning videos. Honey, yes ma'am, Supreme, Miss Supreme. I'm not gonna be, be able to do that, sweetheart, but I will have, I'll probably put it in my vlog, one of my vlogs. If not this vlog, honey, the next vlog, I will show you all the foolery. What I tell you, I have gotten out of control with this planning stuff. Honey, uh, y'all, it, it, it is ridiculous. I have two containers full of planning stuff. Mind you, I've only started this stuff. It hasn't even been half a year. It hasn't even been six months. This cake I made. I did a version of the brown sh of a brown sugar pound cake. Cooking with Carolyn and Divas Can Cook has this. I've made this from scratch before, but what I did is I used a cake mix for this time. I, yeah, I cut half of it for, for my neighbors. Um, and this is a little bit different. My icing didn't come out how I liked it, which is why it's so runny, but that's okay. Um, I did one and a half boxes of pound, oh, excuse me, of regular cake mix and I pimped it up, girl. And this is toffee. Y'all probably um, call my other neighbors and get them a couple of slices. Y'all, when I make cakes like this, I don't eat it all. We don't keep this stuff because it's just two of us. JB now eats cake, thank God. Um, but we can't eat all of this. So, and I'll just eat enough for two days, basically two slices. And um, I'll give some to my neighbors and that's it, yeah. I'm gonna be cooking later on. I have some bone broth over here brewing away. Ciao. Girl, y'all, I'm a planner. I don't like last minute. I don't like anything last minute. It, it messes with me, it messes with my anxiety. Um, my husband gets a text message. Those of you who don't know, my husband has an older son. He's 18 years old. So he gets a text message from the mother today stating um, just very non very nonchalant which over the years the relationship between all of them has been very rocky i'm not going to get into that for my husband's privacy um and just out of respect for him but it has not been on the best of terms and just out of the blue she sends information on the child's graduation he's graduating from high school in may and i'm just like why didn't she let you know this ahead of time i mean that way you could have planned it so as you know what okay it's two months we're in april it's next month, but we're out of state, you know. Well, he's out of state, my husband is. So, um, we had planned on going to Sedona during the date. So, it's May 30th, and that's the date of our trip to Sedona. And y'all, we, we canceled the last time because instead we stayed here because it was snowing. We stayed in town during JB's birthday. So, I was like, I'm, I'm gonna be the bigger person. So, I told my husband, I said, you know what? His graduation is a priority over our family vacation. We'll have plenty of family vacations, but there'll only be one time when your child graduates from high school. So you can go up there, that's fine. Well, JB and I will stay here. So he thought about it and later on in the day, he's like, do y'all all wanna just, you wanna just have a family trip in Texas? I'm like, next month? Y'all, I'm like, okay, let me crunch some numbers. Cause look, I, Normally I budget and I do things five or six months ahead of the time. It's gonna be tight, but we can do it, we can do it. So it looks like we're going to Texas next month. Now, the thing that makes me kind of sad is that we won't be able to go see my family. There's just no way. We are there for a specific reason and we're not there for a long time. We're only there for four days. If you take into account two days that you're traveling, I went ahead and text my best friend though. And she, my best friend even lives outside of um, Dallas. I text my best friend, I text my mom, cause I'm gonna be open with them. I'm gonna let them know we are there. We're gonna be there next month, but we cannot come to you. So if you can come to us before we leave, good. It's dark girl 
It's Friday. It's Friday. And I'm ready to swing. Let me do this, y'all. Is that better? I am in the parking lot of, Do of the Dollar Tree because I'm going to go ahead and start getting stuff, gathering stuff for our trip. So I just picked up an extra deodorant, mini toothpaste, you know that little stuff. Um, we went ahead and purchased our tickets. <clears throat> well, I purchased our tickets. <clears throat> and my husband, <clears throat> sorry y'all, he booked the hotels last night. But um, yeah, I really am learning how to use my credit cards. I purchased or I applied for a Advantage MasterCard last year and <clears throat> I used that sorry y'all i used that to purchase our tickets last year when we went to texas for my high school reunion well i got points from that i got like forty-five thousand flight reward points or whatever um and you don't have to use them for flights you can use them for any type of anything you want so i use i had been holding those girl i didn't even do anything with it because it's only been a year so i went ahead and i used like thirty thousand of those points to get one-way tickets to go to dallas and then I just paid out of pocket the one ways to come back, just $500. That is it, child. Uh, so real quick, one of the things that I ordered, I was trying to look through my closet to see if I have something that's, you know, for graduation, you want to dress up a little bit. Snow actually contacted me um, yesterday and I called her. Y'all, she was she was uh, yelling at me and complimenting me in the same breath. Vietnamese women, Asian women in general, y'all. That's how they are, especially the Vietnamese. Um, talking loud as hell. Loud. Vivian, you come get your dress. I said, Snow, I'm going to come over. <laughs> I'm going to come on Monday to get my dress. She has a yellow dress that she altered for me last year. And I just haven't. She's been traveling too. But anyway. But I need something for next month. And yeah, I know that I'm not going to be able to go down there. I just know. I just know. We, I won't have time basically to have her to do it. So I purchased, and I'm going to show y'all what it looks like. I went ahead on ASOS this morning and purchased a bad banging dress. Um, it was only $35. $35, 35 girl. I like ASOS. I have purchased, I call them pieces. I've purchased some stuff there before. And the reason why I like them, they have a curved section. And um, that's where I got my, my high school reunion dress from. I like them because a lot of the stuff you get off of there, you don't see people wearing, one. And two, when you look at the clothes, there's a section where you can see the model walk. So you can actually see the dress in movement. This is the dress, y'all. Isn't it bad? But let, you, let me show you what it looks like in movement. I showed it to my husband. I'm like, do you think, I said, do you think this is a little too much? He's like, no, that's not too much. He was looking at the model. He's like, no, that's not too much. Y'all, Y'all, my husband is a chubby chaser. Hold on, y'all. Can y'all see it? Look at it, isn't that pretty? Is it zoom in? Hold on y'all, isn't that cute? Some money to call the owner. This is what the new tub looks like. Now you see how much smaller this is compared to what I showed y'all? All right you guys, I'm gonna go pick up JB from school and like every other week someone invites us out. And at first I was saying no, because we do have stuff to do and I just wanna go home sometimes on a Friday. But lately I've been saying yes. So last week we had a, a, just an impromptu with someone and then today we're gonna to be going to something called First Watch. It's a breakfast place. Yeah, I still look Not a mess. First Watch. I still, it's called First Watch. I still look, I, I know, I was like, is this a Jehovah Witness place? There they go right there, baby. All right, y'all. Um, I'm like, is this a Jehovah Witness? I thought it was a church. No, it's actually a restaurant. So, all right, y'all. See you. Hey, you guys. So this is very impromptu. I'm going to be showing you because I want to include it in this vlog, girl. My little hobby has gotten out of control. Sorry for that light, y'all. I mean, I mean, let me pull this up some bright light. There we go. Out the way. My hair cover up some of it. You see this? Now, I'm going to show you the stuff I purchased just this month alone. Yeah. So, I use the Happy Planner. And you guys have seen this before. And I purchased this at um, Michael's. Did I purchase this at Michael's or do I get it online? Y'all, I don't know. So, this is an example. Oh, hell. Hold on, y'all. I'm not going to show y'all everything. I'll just show you my favorite spreads. This is an example of a weekly spread. Some of these stickers I got from Etsy. Um, the one where she's cleaning, I got that from Etsy. This was from St. Patrick's Day week. This is this week. Okay. 
And the reason I like to do this, like I said, it allows me to be productive, but I've noticed that, first of all, it takes me about an hour to decorate these two pages. Yeah, about an hour to deck. I should say to decorate and start scheduling stuff. About an hour. It is very relaxing for me. I am a creative person, um, and yeah, it, it, I've enjoyed it. I've really been enjoying it, y'all. So let me show you real quick what I purchased, and I will try to have everything that I'm talking about in the description box. I completely forgot that I had ordered some stickers off Etsy. And so I got a notification that says your order was shipped. I'm like, what order? What are you talking about, girl? So I ordered these, um, and the shop is called Sticker Stairs, S-T-E-R-S. -E Aren't these cute, y'all? Very, very cute. Very, very cute. But what I've been enjoying lately are stickers from Hobby Lobby by the Paper Studio. They had a crazy deal, meaning like, at one point it was 50% off and then it was 20% off and then I had a 40% off coupon for one item. So I purchased their set of washi. There we go, okay. Um, then I went crazy, yeah. Post-it notes. And I'm gonna go through these fairly quickly, you guys. Aren't these cute? All this stuff, you guys, costs like between two and three dollars. Like, seriously, this is stinking cute cards and envelopes like I'm, I'm not even sure if i want to use these aren't these cute look at that isn't that cute and let me just show you an example oh so adorable isn't that cute y'all i like that again studio 52 boss babe fold sticker i'm not sure if this is my favorite one is this my favorite one i'm not sure yet what i like about this is that they are representing all types of skin tone. Okay, we have her. Same types of stickers, right? We have, I guess you could, she could be Asian. I'm not sure, Asian American or Latino. I absolutely love it. This right here again is the Boss Babe and there's just different types of stickers in there. I know y'all can't see all of that and I know I'm going through this fairly fast. This one is my favorite. It is the LOL Seasonal and you get a set of stickers for every season. So this is this was February. I got mine in March. This is Christmas. Now let's skip a little bit in between. The Dollar Tree, don't sleep on the Dollar Tree. I found these jumbo um, paper clips. Girl, I don't even know what I'm gonna use these for, but very cute. I ordered these, I've been waiting on them, erasable gel pens from Amazon, and these are made by Pilot. Yeah, my spending has, has kind of slowed down. I haven't bought anything crazy. Um, my last order was from Amazon and that's it. I'll probably order a few other things for our upcoming trip. Um, but, and that's it y'all, cause I need to get my credit um, cards on this together, but. When my Amazon order came in, my husband was leaving out the door. Look, typically I hide my stuff. I hide my box because I don't need him judging me. So the UPS man was walking towards the door and my husband was walking out to go to work. I was like, who ordered all this stuff? <laughs> he didn't say a dangle thing, child. He ignored my ass so fast. Anyway, let's just jump right into these. Now, this is the first time that I've opened up some of these. This one is um, Floral Faith and Inspiration Sticker Pack. Again, by the Paper Studio. Oh my God, this is so gaudy. I don't know, I do not like this. This looks like some type of, yeah, I don't like this at all. I'll use it, but I'm not, I'm not sure if I like it. It's real pictures of flowers. I thought it was actual, Vivian, don't complain. I thought it was actual um, illustrations. It's okay. We'll figure it out. The next one is 100% Girl. So stinking cute. See that? And you guys, I only decorate my weekly layout and if I don't decorate it, the world is not gonna end. I keep it pushing. You know what I mean? But lately I have been. The next one is Petals and Blooms. You guys, I am very, very, um, my style is all over the place, but I tend to like very feminine stuff if you can't tell by now, which is why when I build up my she room, it's going to be shabby chic. Is that, there we go, see that? 
adorable. All right, we have Family is Forever sticker pack. I love it. I love this vintage bicycle camera theme going on with this one in particular. Last one is, um, okay, I said the wrong thing. So Agenda 52 Floral Daily Task. I absolutely love this. I know, take a shot every time I say I love it. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. It's like floral theme to it. So yeah, you guys, that is it. I know I keep saying this, but hopefully the next time I come on cam, y'all will see my completed bathroom. The man never showed up today. The plumber, y'all. The project manager said that, oh, I'm going to have the planner, the uh, plumber to come today. Never showed up. Then he texted my husband before he went to work, excuse me, and said, we're going to try for him to come Sunday. Then my husband's like, well, he also said he can come Monday. I said, well, I'm going into the office Monday. And then we got into it over there. He's like, well, is this planned? I said, it doesn't matter if it is planned or not. Well, I didn't say that. But I said, yes, it is planned. <laughs> But it is plain. When I plan, I plan to go into the office. I just don't suddenly just go because I gotta do my hair, girl. You do you see this? So, um, yeah, y'all yeah, know I'm crazy. So what's my point? I told him I may try. I will try to leave work, but I'm having lunch with Nick. Y'all, Nick is leaving. Those you don't, Nick is my good Judy. I speak to Nick more. Besides my best friend, he's the second person I talk to the most. We talk on a weekly basis. And it's just, you know, texting or whatever, uh, messaging. But I would say out of the people here in Phoenix, I talk to him the most. And I don't think that's going to change much. But he got a job in Pittsburgh. So we're going to have lunch on Monday with him and then my other friend, Miss Yolanda. Hold on, y'all. I told him, I said, are there any black people in Pittsburgh? Y'all, he's white. But I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> sometimes I be forgetting he's white. He's like, child, there is a, there's a lot of... um. There's a lot of um, black people in, in Pittsburgh. Yeah, I'm sorry. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to miss him. I am. I told him, he's like, well, I'll come and visit. I'm like, okay. So if y'all don't know by now, he's he's part of the family, girl. He on the he plays for the other team. So that's why, you know, I don't want, want people thinking, you got a male friend that close you talk to? Yes. Because he ain't trying to push up on me like that. Yeah, like I said, hopefully the next time I come on, I can reveal... My bathroom, y'all. I'm trying not to be disappointed about it, but it is what it is. This is definitely a learning experience. And I did go to my husband and be like, I wish you would have listened to me. I hate I hated to I I didn't do I and I told you so a moment. We had a discussion before we agreed to do the um renovations to where I said I think the priority is to get some new furniture, a new dining room table, and we paint. We can do the bathrooms next year he's like no we went back and forth I, I don't argue i don't have to argue so by the second or third time i was like okay i support you now look what happened we could have had a nice couch a nice dining room table for half the car one other thing <laughs> the custom glass sixteen hundred dollars love hmm it's expensive not listening to vivian huh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a mess. All right, y'all. Y'all, you have to excuse me. I just got finished recording a, a video for you heifers. Um, if you have a house, rethink renovations or rethink who you go through uh, for renovations. There has been so much foolery, y'all, that has transpired this week. I'm just going to give you the damn Cliff Notes version. We have our tub finally. It's in Francisco. When Francisco was here from... Oh, God, y'all. I've been so frustrated. I, I've been about to cry. I mean, I need to refill my Xanax because that's how, that's how nerve-wracking this has all been. And my husband told me to stop worrying about it, you know, because there's not much we could do at this point. So we had the plumbers come in and, and install the actual tub. When was that? There were three days ago. He was here from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. 
And mind you, half of that time we could not have water. I didn't have one, I did not have running water from 1 p.m. Sorry, uh, I didn't have running water from 12 to 8 p.m which means that we couldn't flush the toilets, we couldn't wash anything, we couldn't wash our hands if we went to the bathroom. I had antibacterial, we, using, we were using bottled water. And I understand, but it just makes it very inconvenient when you're here that long and we don't have any running water. I finally, around 6 p.m., I was like, how much longer is gonna take you? JB was like, mommy, I'm tired. I was like, oh. So at least the tub got in, right? The following day, uh, someone randomly came over at 11 o'clock. We didn't even get a heads up that this guy was coming over. The towel guy came over. He came over, he, he said, I'm here to do the towel. I'm like, cool, come in. Comes in, he looks at the bathroom and he's perplexed. He looks confused and he's like, it's not done. I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, well, the shower is supposed to be installed typically before I get here and they're supposed to be prep done and you don't have any grout. I'm like, are you serious? So he called the boss. And then my husband called the owner and the owner was like, oh, I thought that this was all done before the time. No, so that has happened. Today was the it day. We had not heard from anyone in two days. So my husband sent a text message and I'm gonna read it to you guys. This is why it is so important in my opinion when you're dealing with stuff like this to call someone instead of sending a text message. But my husband is very, he's an introvert, so whatever. So he sends a text message to the project manager, Jerry, who I told y'all about last vlog, and the owner. And he's basically like, you guys, it's been a couple of days now and no one has showed up to continue the bath and shower installation process. I understand you guys are busy, but this is taking way too long. These are some things that still haven't been done. And he goes through a laundry list. If nothing, please communicate with us and let us know where things stand at this point so we'll know what's going on, basically. Child, Jerry showed his ass. I'm in my office working right, and my husband cussed me. He's like, my husband curses you guys. He doesn't curse in front of people. You know, he, he he's respectful, but at home and not in front of Jamie, of course. Neither one of us really in front of our child, but he goes off. I was like, oh, oh no, no sir, I'm at work. <laughs> So I read the text message from Jerry. Jerry writes back. At this point, I guess they've gone back and forth a couple of times. Like, don't, why are you even doing this? Y'all both grown. So Jerry wrote back, child, and was like, don't you tell me what I should be doing. I was like, oh, child, what, what Jerry? <laughs> Jerry? Jerry got some balls. Don't you tell me what I should be doing. My husband wrote back, dude, I'm not trying to tell you what you what to do. He's like, where's your professionalism? I'm a client. There's a proper way to talk to me. You know, I'm not telling you what you should do. We're just saying what's next. He's like, you know what? You're very childish. Don't talk to me at this point. Jerry wrote back and said, don't you ever text message, text message me again. I was like, child. I told my husband that my husband is heated at this point. I'm trying to calm him down, calm him down, calm him down. I called the owner and was like, um, hold on y'all. Um, did you notice the uh, text message going between my husband and Jerry and I told him what happened. My husband spoke to the owner. I was basically like, I want this guy off of this project. I don't want him in our house. I don't want, and I'm, I'm trying to tell my husband, please do not piss these people off because I'm going to be here by myself. If this guy has to come here again, I'm going to be my, here by myself. And I don't, I don't feel comfortable that you have pissed him off to the point to where he doesn't even want to talk to you. I don't want that type of energy in my house. So y'all won't be seeing a finished bathroom at this point, child. You'll probably see my date night outfit and my hair, you know, to the guys, but. I tried to tell him, child, let's just go ahead and buy a new couch and, and dining room. <laughs> Alright, y'all. Show y'all my date night outfit. You have to excuse this girl. They're just these are the shoes I'm wearing. Have a flower like can y'all see that? A flower like I don't know. Oh god. Background is not great. Y'all, Charlotte Ruse went out of business and I got this dress from there, very spring dress for um yes. My purse I'm wearing, just very nude, nothing too drastic. Y'all, I don't have on a bra. Probably should put one on, but yeah, this is what we're rocking with today. Just very, very, this, I'm giving you a 50s wiggle dress vibe. Let me show you what my hair and makeup looks like. I don't know when I'm gonna upload this video, but I tried to do a review of the Blue Magic Hair Grease twist out, fail. Fail, fail, fail. I feel greasy, I feel greasy, but this is my makeup. 
All right, you guys, that is it. We're gonna talk about this over here. All right, y'all, take care, bye.